hello and welcome back again to another video in today's video i'm going to introduce to you a very nice uh, movie maker or you can say a mini uh, video editor which is called filmford if you're familiar with uh, windows video editor or the imovie for mac then you will be happy to use this little uh, video editor or the movie maker it is only available for windows os so now let's go straight to the website so once you type in import movie maker it takes you here but you can go straight here to the website here so click on the film forward it takes you to takes you to this website here and either you can uh, download from here but when you click on the download option it takes you straight to the microsoft uh, store or you can simply click here to go to the official website which is this one here and as you can see on the official website it stated here that no skill required very simple to use this little uh, movie maker and it's also saying that uh, it's totally free to use and you can save and share without any watermark that means when you export your video there's an option that you can uncheck it not to save the watermark on the right hand side here there's a resources here so once you click on this guide here it takes you to the guide here to how you can install and launch and uninstall uh, FilmPod. So without better ado, let's launch uh, FilmPod to see how it looks. So we are in the um, welcome screen for the FilmPod. So you can see that in the welcome screen you have this uh, past video which is the template that you can use that's provided by FilmPod. You can use this underneath here have the quick tools. Uh, trim, stabilize videos, extract mp3s and rotate videos uh, these are some quick tools that you can use and here is where we create new project open an existing project and all the recent project that you work on will be available underneath here you can remove them by clicking here and uh, remove from recent and over here is the settings for the resolution so if you want to set to a resolution that you want you can click on the setting here come to the default um, resolution here is 1080p so you can change to whatever resolution you want depending on the clip you have and also the location of the proxy so these are some basic things the frame rate too you can change the frame rate depending on the clip you have and then you can click close once you set this up okay so now we're back again in the welcome screen so let's create a new project so here in a new project click that and it gets you to this window here so if you want to save your project and giving it a name you can click here to go back out and once you do that it gives you the project name so you can type that and the part where your videos are going to be stored here so make sure to rename this one or you can click this folder icon here to go to the location that you want to save your videos in and you can choose a, any folder here and select the folder and now it's stored in that folder that you just um, created the part to lead to that when you save your videos now you can save this and once you save that you are back again to the welcome screen so make sure to click on that to go back again so to add a video clip let's click here to add the video clip let's select a video clip you can double click or click and open and once you do that it gets you to the main editing workspace so here is the viewer where the sequence on the timeline is viewed here and we have the main timeline which is this one here and underneath it you can see that you have a track for the music and an interesting track here is called pixar in pixar what it means is that um, you place a pixar here or a video clip here it will play in front of whatever clip that you place on the top here and you have the text uh, track here and underneath here you can see different tools that is available for this little uh, movie maker here so we have the add media you want to add another media clip again or add a color clip split trim speed volume detect effect crop transform rotate flip freeze frame duplicate and delete the clip and after that you can save your work once you do some editing so to save it just simply click the save video here and it gives you this pop-up window here with the export panel so you can see the video resolution you can choose from uh, different resolution you want to export your video 
and also the frame rate depending on your clip or depending on what type of frame rate you want to export and here export with a watermark uh, if you don't want to export with the film port watermark you can always uncheck this to uh, not to export it with a uh, watermark once you're happy with that you can click save to export your video now with this we can go back again so here we're back again in the main screen now once you click this arrow it takes you back to the um, area here where still in the um, editing workspace but you have uh, pure uh, tools here to use so you have the project settings edit audio text and picture in picture it shows you the uh, tracks that are on the main screen here so um, audio track the text track and picture in picture track and this all here and the different effects to activate all the tools again simply just select the clip and you are activating all the uh, tools again to use so that's all for this introductory video to this little uh, mini or movie maker and in our next video we'll look deep into some of the uh, tools available here to use thank you again and see you all in the next one